Hey, hey, hey there, nail artists. Are y'all ready to learn something? Because I'm sure ready to teach. We're going to go over some parts of the nail today, and this may be what you find in your book, and it can be a little confusing and a little scary. So we're going to, this part one is going to show a few parts so that when you study, you can, you can just take off small bites at a time of figuring out all the knowledge you need to have. So one of the first things I'm going to tell you about is the hyponychium. The hyponychium is what most people call the quick. So this little dotted line here is that area right underneath your nail right there, okay? That's called the hyponychium. H Y P O N Y C H I U M hyponychium. Okay. The next part of the nail I'm going to tell you about is the free edge. The free edge is the light colored part hanging off of your finger. Okay. So this right here is what we consider the free edge. And that's in my favorite color purple. That is the free edge. Okay. Part three of the nail structure would be the nail bed. Now this part right here will be underneath what you consider your fingernail. Okay, that's just the pink, peachy, tan part that's right there. And that's kind of an aqua color pen that I'm using. And that is called the nail bed. Okay, I've got that. My lefty, so I'm tending to go to the left side here. The next thing I'm going to show you is the nail plate. Now, your nail plate goes over, is the whole keratin. Y'all are learning in school that your hair, skin, and nails are made of keratin. This whole part here includes the free edge and the nail bed. The whole fingernail, if you, have, if you will, is the nail plate. Okay, that's the nail plate, and I can't arrow that very well, but it's made, it's, the color of the words are the color of the diagram, okay? There we go. I'm trying to make this less intimidating, so when you're studying it for state board and trying to figure it out, okay? Another part we're going to talk about is the cuticle. Now, people can confuse the cuticle and the epinechium. Your cuticle area, let's do something, let's use a little lighter color for that. Your cuticle area can sometimes be kind of raggedy looking. And you take your, your cuticle pusher or your orange wood stick or whatever you're using as a tool for that. So this whole area here is your cuticle and you push that back. That is dead skin, that is not live skin. So that's your cuticle right there. One of the other parts of your nail is called the eponychium. Now the hyponychium is what we use for the quick right here, right? The eponychium is what people sometimes confuse 
for the cuticle. And it is live. It has blood flowing through it. And you do not want to clip that because it will bleed and it will hurt. So this area right here, and you're not going to be able to really see it, but this is the eponychium, okay? That part right there where you push the cuticle up. That is the eponychium. Okay, sorry. Can y'all see that? Mm-hmm. Okay. And let's see, let's do one more part that will help you to remember. And that will be the lunula. Lunula. Have y'all heard of the lunar, have the word lunar? Moon. And now everyone won't have these. But your lunula is right here, and it has a little different texture. My my thumbs, you can see the lunula is on my thumbs, but not on the rest of mine. And that's there's nothing wrong with that. It's just you can in some people, and you can't in others. And that is the lunula. That's the moon-shaped lunar part. Okay. I'm at the the studio downtown. I'm not at home, so that's why I'm don't have all my stuff in a really. Let's use this color. Okay, so now we're just gonna do one more, and that's gonna be all for today's lesson, because there are many more parts. This will get you started. It won't get you overwhelmed, and you can. Learn, start learning the nail structure without being intimidated or feeling like you are never going to learn it. Because trust me, in the beginning of nail school, I know that's what it feels like. It really does. So one of the things you're going to, the last thing I'm going to talk about is the sidewalls. Now, this right here is your sidewalls. I'm going to write this right here too, y'all. That is right there. That's down the side of your nail plate. Those are called your sidewalls. So, how many did we do today? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight parts. Of the nail structure, and that, of course, is not all of them. But it gives you something to work with when it comes to memorizing them. So I'm going to stop right there, and the next video I put out, we'll, put, we'll go through some more of them. So when you look at this from your book, you know, it's kind of intimidating to begin with and once you figure it out it's not a big doesn't seem like a big deal because you can rattle it off and define them at the drop of a hat but right there we go the free edge is the part of the nail that sticks out of the end the nail bed is the part that the nail plate itself is on which is this the fleshy part underneath the fingernail itself the nail plate is your whole fingernail. It's your whole fingernail. The cuticle is the kind of raggedy part that is sticking out over the nail plate that you take a, one of your apparatuses and you push that back. And sometimes you can... You can take that live skin, that dead skin off, excuse me, that dead skin off, but you never cut the eponychium which is the part behind the cuticle right there. Okay? And so we also have the nail plate. We went, we've got it all. There you go. That's all eight parts. I hope that helped you out a little bit and made it a little less intimidating. Did I say the loon? Did I repeat the lunula? Okay? 
We're going to get a little bit further and a little bit further along, and you are going to be able to rattle these off and define them and, and understand them. I think understanding them is a lot better than memorizing them because as you become a part of your profession, you understand it more when you, when you can really see what they are instead of just reading a definition in a paper. So here we go. These are just eight of the parts. There's a lot more, but these are eight parts of it, of the nail structure. Thanks y'all for watching and I will see y'all in a little bit.